Hallo und herzlich willkommen zurück bei Let's Play Tales from the Borderlands Episode 2 Atlas Markt. Das letzte Mal haben wir gesehen, wie Reese und Warren sich geschlagen hat und wahrscheinlich kommt jetzt die das, was äh, hier Sascha und Fiona in der Zeit machen gemacht haben. Könnte ich mir jedenfalls ganz gut vorstellen und das deutet mal darauf hin. Das Ding sieht auf jeden Fall ziemlich beschädigt aus. Oh, I can't believe we made it. Do you think the guys will be okay? I'm sure they'll figure something out, probably. But um, the Badlands are practically a graveyard. If they're smart, they have a chance. I'm not convinced two Hyperion desk jockeys know the first thing about survival in the Badlands. All they have to do is find a shelter and build a fire. They're dead. <laughs> Die Tür scheint leicht in ihrer Funktionalität eingeschränkt zu sein. Mal gucken, was wir hier jetzt machen können. Okay. Der Sender gefällt mir nicht. Was kann ich da machen? Leaving me out like this. I almost feel sorry for the poor sap. Almost. Uh. Scooter's a fan of the races. Good to know. That race was insane. Rest yeah, in peace, kaput. Basanova. I uh, carried the three to five back to twelve. Oh, what the hell, man? I gotta cut down my wrench budget. Oh, oh hey, man. Welcome to Scooter's Catch a Ride. What can we do for you today? <laughs> uh, Sorry if I seem a little dis distracted. Uh, hopefully handing this place over to the new proprietor today and I gotta get all these numbers and stuff in order. No, it's a lot. I don't know if you know this, but the transition from small business owner to franchise owner is... Surprisingly difficult. Have my rides trashed. Think you could help me out? Oh crap, man. That girl's not looking too good. At least I'm assuming it wasn't designed with that whole uh, you know, hole thing in the inside there. Can you fix it? Hey man, that's what the sign says I do, don't it? No, seriously, does it? I can't I can't remember what I put on the new billboard. Point is I can fix her up for you, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Holy crap! I knew I recognized this rig from somewhere. You were in the latest Bossing Over Death Rally. Oh, I was there, man. Did you see me? I was, I was waving. You were a badass. Oh, <laughs> yep, got me. That thing's beat up to hell and back, man. I can fix it, but it's probably gonna run you about 2,500 cold. 2,500? Uh, that's a little out of my price range. Not to be implied or nothing. But you must have won a buttload of money from that race, right? Where did it all go? Oh, cause my cousin, right? 
He said that his sister's friend's neighbor's husband won one of them races one time, and the cats kept them fed for weeks. Of course, those days they were mostly, you, you know, the, the money. But, but still, it was weeks. Didn't anyone ever tell you it's inappropriate to ask somebody about their money? Uh, I mean, I guess. Except for usually when I'm doing business with someone, I like to ask about how said business is gonna get paid for. Touche. Well, tell me this. You think you could ever see yourself racing again? Let me pitch you something, and it might be crazy. But if you keep racing, I would love to endorse you as a sponsor. What do you say? It'll be great, maybe like a billboard, a couple of commercials, product placement. You'd be huge. Scooter, sir, you have yourself a deal. Yeah? Oh man, this is awesome! You will not regret this, no way, no how, man! Bet it! Say it once for me, man, you know? The catchphrase? Catch a ride! You know it, come on! Don't be shy, I'm your sponsor now! Gotta hear how you do the catchphrase! Go on, do it! Catch a ride! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> I'm thinking that we put a big old ad on your van, you know? Like maybe a picture of me with like, catch a ride up above it, you know, all cool, right? I'm looking all badass, you need to put some badass pictures of you with your car and your hat and all that. Hi, Scooter, right? Everything going okay? <laughs> I, was, uh, I was just gonna, you know... Go grab the paperwork, let me take care of that. Okay, bye. Alright man, here's my standard endorsement contract. Don't mind the sub clauses about uh, explosions or whatnot. I might have copied it from Torg. Anyway, I figure as long as I'm in there and you're doing it free, maybe you want to splurge and get some of the special packages. I got some good ones. I know it's a big decision. You go ahead and take your time. A lot of good choices, I know, I know. Real classy ones, too. Sometimes I just stand here and, and stare at them, you know? I know how it is. That one would look badass as hell, man. Take it from me, the badass from hell. Man, to be you right now, facing all the impossibilities, Right for the take. Can you taste the potential? It's uh, it's kind of like cinnamon. Or that's just me licking spark plugs again. What day is it? I remember one time I was standing around with my friend Smitty, and we were staring at stuff like this. And it was one of those times where you're like, man, sure is awesome to have such good friends. You don't have to say a thing at all, and it ain't awkward or nothing. <laughs> and I turned to him, and, and he he died. That was a that was a tough birthday. Oh, no, man, den hier, der sieht gut aus. That is some fine taste, man. Like a treat for yourself and for me, getting to do it. Can't wait. Come on in, man. We'll get her all hooked up and get to work. Oh, crap. This doesn't look good. Hey, fellas. What can I do you for? Oh, no. I just hope that little deal you two struck is enough to get him to look the other way. Scooter won't turn us in. You don't know that. We don't even know what the reward is this time. You just gotta have some faith, Sasha. Out of teach him. Hope you ladies weren't too scared. Just doing my duty to keep ruffians the crap out of my garage. 
I'm a real protector type. Just all part of the service when you catch a r- <coughs> Excuse me. Thanks. Hey man, it was no big deal. Proper man ain't gotta turn in two nice seeming ladies. You might be murderers or some crap, but you ain't tried to murder me yet. <laughs> but seriously, please don't try to murder me. <laughs> Seems like there's some bad men looking for you two, though. You got a place to lay low on getting your ride all fixed up? No. I say we hit the safe house. If Felix hasn't already been there first, it'll have everything we need. Money, gear, new IDs. Yeah, I think we can figure something out. Thanks, Scoot. Anytime. And I really mean that. I'm gonna go get started, okay? Ah, Salvador. Oh, Asina. We shouldn't hang around here too long. Looks like he had company while he was away. It could have been Felix. Could be. Come on, look around. We gotta be in and out. Yeah. I got the door. Gucken wir uns mal das Radio an. He always complained about the reception on this thing. Right. A phonograph is more to his taste. It's empty. That's strange. The can's wet, but I don't see any paint. Hmm. Weird. Felix sure was into science fiction. I had to force this on him once his eyesight was starting to go. Yeah, stubborn as always. I couldn't even get him to stop using floppy disks. Who is she? I don't know. They look happy though. Oh, then give him a hit my line. It's all sweet with my young. Hmm, here we go. Always nice to see an old friend. Doesn't look like he changed anything. Probably means there's nothing in there. Great, a flashlight. Maybe if we go camping. It's a black light. It's the one Felix used to check our first counterfeit bills. Oh, it looked familiar. It's hard to believe that asshole would be sentimental enough to keep this in his safe. Not unless he meant for us to find it. What's that? A grenade? Yeah, looks like another one of Felix's homemade projects. Well, let's take it. Kann ich das nicht benutzen hier und irgendwas machen? Ja, Sis. Ugh, I'm a little afraid of what I'm gonna find. Better to get it over with. You said it yourself, Fee. That black light should help us. What are the chances those Hyperion boys aren't dead already? Hyperians are resilient. They'll be fine. 
Too many memories in this place. Let's hope there's a bit more than that. We better keep at it. Yeah, I'll let you know if I find anything. Ich habe keine Ahnung, wie lange ich aufnehme. Ich denke mal, ich gucke mir noch den Scher hier an. Felix's favorite chair. Those few times he felt he could relax anyways. A comfort directly proportional to its wear. Und das Foto hier. You were always a better shot than me. Man, it used to drive me crazy. That was a long time ago. So. Ich denke, ich werde hier erstmal einen Cut machen. Ich habe keine Ahnung, wie lange ich schon aufnehme. Ich bedanke mich fürs Zusehen und hoffentlich... Oh, da können wir was machen. Das werden wir in der nächsten Folge machen. Und dann werden wir sehen, was sich daraus ergibt. Vielen Dank fürs Zusehen. Bis zum nächsten Mal.